Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with some strategic mind blitzkrieg. Last episode, we wrapped up the Battle of Britain, and now we are going in for the landing operation sea line. But first, I must check with my generals and see what they gotta say. So far, due to the successful actions of the Luftwaffe under the impeccable command of Reichsmarschall Goering, Britain has suffered a devastating blow. Now we only have to finish it off. Very soon, the British Empire will finally cease to exist. I cannot agree with you, Herr Führer. In my opinion, even the total of occupation of the island of Great Britain will not undermine the military power of the British Empire spread around the whole globe. So what do you suggest, Halda? To call off the operation, fearing the might of our enemy? Yes, it is the only serious opponent in Western Europe left undefeated. Yet its defeat is imminent. The Wehrmacht is an indomitable force, which knows no fear and no mercy. Manstein, I order you to develop and implement the landing operation plan. What can you suggest in terms of tactics? I think our troops should cross the English Channel and land both to the north and south of London to encircle the enemy troops in and around it. I agree with that. I like your ideas. Dönitz, I order you to help with the Operation Sea Lion planning. At once, Herr Führer. It will be a combined effort of mine as well as General Munstein. The landing of our troops and the Navy's actions will be synchronized. Halder, I order you to find a way to undermine the British military might, if it bothers you so much. Uh. I suggest you work hard. Have no doubt. I will find a solution. You got side eye from Munstein. Gentlemen, had someone told me a year ago that the Wehrmacht would soon be conducting a land invasion of Britain, I would call him mad. Today, however, we're beginning that very operation, and our chances of success have never been higher. General Munstein, what is your assessment of our combat readiness? I've trained my soldiers personally, and they are as ready as they can be. Perfect. In that case, let us begin the debriefing. All forces must cross the English Channel and land on the British coast. No shit. They will then take the southeastern part of the island and secure a foothold to the north of London. For all that to happen, we'll need to capture London as well as the following cities. Chelmsford. Luton, Milton Keynes, Oxford, Reading, Swindon, Gloucester, Bristol, and Hereford. Beating the British Army is not the hard part. Crossing the English Channel might be. The enemy could just sink our transports before any of our troops even set foot on British soil. Indeed, the Royal Navy remains a major threat to our land and operation. However, I'm sure our air supremacy can be of some help in that regard. Wouldn't you agree, Reichsmarschall Goering? Of course. Finally. The Luftwaffe controls the skies over the English Channel. Say the word and they'll give the Brits such a beating they'll forget what drink to take come five o'clock. Don't forget our superb naval forces. Our newest battleship Bismarck is fresh out of the shipyard after its launch. And she is the mightiest vessel to ever sail the Atlantic. Even the Royal Navy has nothing to match her firepower. The British admirals are about to be seriously humbled. Still. Proper caution is in order, and we shouldn't take risk with such a mighty ship this early into the war. Absolutely. We will need the Bismarck afloat for the many battles to come. That said, gentlemen, I believe this meeting is now finished. It is time to commence Operation Sea Lion. I feel like I just watched a movie. It is November 30th, 1940. We are deployed, got the majority of our... Infantry ready to land here. As soon as they take a port, we can call in the heavy equipment. Um, of course, we got to take this spot. I told you about that with our airborne units. And this group of equipment uh, somewhere along the east coast. We're going to land them probably up here so we can come down from the north on to London. With that... Let's get this started. 
Operation Sea Lion. Yeah, I think that's the extent of what they've got over here as far as their navy. Let's wreck them. The Gneiss and Howl. With the big guns. And that's just how it's done. You open up with the big guns, not only do you wreck them, but there's also the fear factor of hearing the big guns going off. Okay, I'll take out these destroyers. We'll put some... I got a lot of the uh, air units right here to help cover. Because we're going we're gonna to need naval and air coverage as soon as we try to land here. Let me go ahead and cover these up. We'll get we'll also get the infantry out to sea now and just hide them right here till um, the enemy units are cleared and then they were they'll already be ready to go in. All right, we got air coverage. We got the infantry out. We got the backup heavy our uh, armor ready to go in once the dock is taken. We've got the troops ready to go up here and grab this uh, Spitfire Intel. And now we just need some uh, naval battles going on. I think there's there's a couple of ships over here. And then I think there's one or two right there, if I remember right. And then there's just a, a, a crap load of them up here. All right, Wolfpack. Wolf pack. You ready to do some wolf packing? Nice. Beautiful wolf pack. Gotta love that wolf pack. I think. I think we'll take out the cruiser and then, uh. We'll light gun the destroyer down. Cruiser can't even touch the Turpets. Turpets is too chad. And if the Turpets is too chad, you know the mighty Bismarck is going to be too chad. Get shat on. And then you guys can come in for the cleanup duty. And it's just that easy. All right, that's going to be a wrap on November 30th. So far, so good. My agents brought in a curious report about the Ipswich airfield. The Royal Air Force have been testing a cutting-edge fighter plane there called Spitfire Mark V. Apparently, the prototype is still at the airfield. You're suggesting we capture the enemy's secret fighter plane? Why, that's a wonderful idea. Let's see what the British engineers have come up with. Despite the heavy blow we have dealt to the British Air Force, they still pose a real threat to our ground troops. In particular, because they still have a number of very experienced bomber pilots. The most famous one is Guy Gibson. He has many combat awards, including some of the most prestigious ones. I mm. see where you're going. Suppose we strike another blow to the Brits' morale? Exactly. By proving one more time that their heroes are not immortal beings, we will crush their will to fight. At the same time, it would make our homeland a safer place. This Gibson guy participated in an air raid on Berlin. That's all I need to hear. That's all I needed to hear. Oh, we did get a lot of air activity, didn't we? Oh, uh, you know what? We're not going to get much damage in. Because it's night and it's raining and shit. We probably won't even be able to take this out.
yeah, I doubt we get that. I doubt we're able to get that. Yeah, I didn't think so. We can go ahead and wreck these aircraft, though. Open up on them with the big AA guns. Demoralized, running for his life. And it wasn't enough. If we can take uh, these ships out this time around, we will move up these infantry. I, I mean, I know what time it is. It's the wolf pack time. No, I didn't. I didn't say move there, bro. I didn't do it. I don't know with it being night if we're going to be able to do this or not. If anybody can do it, it is the Bismarck. No, damn it. They're going to. They're going to make it through this. All right. Well, we took down one of those aircraft. I'm saying let's go ahead and take down the destroyer so it can't launch torpedoes against the Bismarck. I mean, I didn't realize that, uh... I didn't realize the Bismarck wanted to get so close. There we go. I should be able to take this bomber out, hopefully. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Damn, we wrecked their air force. And now we need to move in to take that. So let's, uh, let's get moved up here. Balsham Yagers are ready by next round. We're going to start seeing some of their main naval vessels down here. December 2nd, 19. 40. Look, yeah, we're getting a little bit of activity here. Uh, I think, you know what? Turpits open up with the big guns. It's still raining. They just, they're, they're, they're oh, that wasn't the big guns. They're just wanting us to fail at this point. Even with the big guns going. What's going on? We got that we got the big guns that ain't even doing much damage. Point blank range, right? With the Bismarck's big guns. You, you can't tell me that's not absolutely wrecking it. Nice. All right, that's down. We're going to wolf pack this guy. No destroyers yet. This this is the happy times. We got happy times going. And there it goes. Done. All right, with that. We can start moving these big boys up. We can probably land. We got to pick the best units first. My agent in London reports Churchill is trying to evacuate his archive. A large number of British secret documents are currently being moved by irregular trucks with little escort. General Munstein, did you hear that? This may be our only chance. No need to tell me twice. Capturing the British Prime Minister's papers may yield us many secrets. I'll order my troops to intercept those trucks before they get too far. Yeah, well, how about you tell me exactly where they're going? Tell me exactly where they're going, and, and then I'll be cool with that.
Well, I thought I was supposed to be able to move when I landed one spot. What's going on here? All right, they got some support artillery right there. Yeah, what happened to me being able to move one spot? I don't... I thought that was always a thing. Can we help out at all with the big guns? Oh, we can. Although I don't want to do much damage to that dock because I want to be moving in troops right away. All right, so before we go in, we are going to call up. Uh, hold on, how much do I got? 18, 8, 36. Yeah, we got enough. Going to do a recon flight and then we're going to do two bombing runs. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. So when we take that dock. Then we can get resupplied there, right? Or we can't because the ship's there. I don't know that aspect of the game. If an enemy ship is in your port, can you still get supplied? By the port. I don't think I've ever had to deal with that yet. Yeah, we want all the AA's guns happen to go off. We want all the aircraft firing. Because then we're going to come in with our uh, Fallstrom Yager units unopposed. No fire from the ground, no nothing. There we go. We want that airfield right away. All right, let's get the let's get a good bro in here. Got him. There it is. Already took it. My soldiers have taken the Ipswich airfield. That state-of-the-art fighter prototype was being tested there after all. The captured workers even gave us its location. Then again, aviation isn't my area of expertise. We better take this to Goering. Above all else, keep the fighter intact. We'll find proper use for it. Oh, and no need to inform our dear Reichsmarschall. I will handle this personally. Why wouldn't you want to tell the dear Reichsmarschall? Uh, that's kind of strange. Why would you tell the dear Reichsmarshal what's going on? I'm a little bit confused with keeping it from the dear Reichsmarshal. December 3rd, 1940, finally. It's like they bombed the crap out of us. We are fully engaged with their Navy now. And yeah, they came in on us here too. Well, can any of you clear mines? Apparently not. Maybe I was unable to move because it was nighttime because these guys are able to move. Yeah, we're going to cut. We're going to roll right up on them with the big battleships. We want that port quick. Damn, he wrecks. Damn, bro. Just the big guns, man. The big guns are unforgiving. That was beautiful. Big gun. I mean, we could big gun the tank. We could big gun the damn city clear even. Actually, you know what? Big gun that. Get the, the hell out of there. Nice. I love I love the big guns. Now we even have the air filled. There we go. I was going to be pissed. Nice. I guess let's before we even worry about the aircraft, let's worry about clearing the city completely. 
get our bros in here uh, protected. Can you take that out? I'd like to take that AA gun out, but I don't think we can. There we go. I guess we can go ahead and uh, move up, get ready to land with the tanks and the artillery and the AA guns. The good shit. All right, Wolfpack. Are you down to Wolfpack? Nice hit there. Oh yeah, you're 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 done. You're done when the Bismarck comes at you. Get the big guns going. Get shit. Get the turpets in on this too. And then you know what we do? We shit all over the destroyers. Cause they ain't doing anything to us. The Bismarck is unforgiving. Use your little puny guns. It's a Scharnhorst. Damn. Talk about taking an ass kicking. All right, I'm interested to see what we can do here. Can we clear the port? Got it. Two ports have been cleared. I am feeling pretty damn good. I'd really love to pull the Bismarck off. And nail those tanks with the big guns. The Gneisenau can do two damage with 283 millimeter guns. And the Bismarck has 380 millimeter guns. All right, bros, it is December 3rd. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Probably going to have to be a three part series. Well, I know it's going to have to be a three part series to finish up Operation Sea Lion. I know it was kind of a slow start. We had to deal with the Navy. Had to deal with aircraft. We still have to deal with a little bit of it. Next episode, though, is the ground war. That will start and we are going to wreck. Bros, if you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll make you for our next upload. Peace. Ruminati out.